so hello everyone in this video we'll be creating the landing page so let's do that and in the later videos we'll be fixing uh, the links part so that we'll be doing later when we'll be adding uh, different routes so let's first add the dev tag here let's just use the container Let's add a class name. Add a heading. Text light. Let's name it Gippy Blogs. You can see we have it, and we can add fluid here. So it is in the full length now, and we can make the height 50, which is the 50% of the height viewport height. I do that. Nope. Check the uh, utilities for height. Okay, so it's not the text area. Let's add our own styling so we can add it Let's name it landing wrapper. You can see it is there. Let's make it center. What we can do is we can add display flex here. So instead of text center, we can add it. So let's name it Gippy only and in the navigation let's name it Gippy. We'll change it later if you want to add any logo or something. Now in the bottom what we can do is we can add a search input. Let's see the input component. So 
basically it is input group instead of input basically it will be form controls I think you can see this is like this so we can just grab this thing here so the styling is a little bit search and we can write search your blocks here and we can grab it from the react bootstrap components it's form not form so that will work okay let me just check one more time yeah it's fine let me refresh it you can see it is there let's just add a class as well just add some padding also some width why it's not happening I think because uh, bootstrap classes or controls are taking more space uh, like um, uh, they are more important than this styling so that's why it is not happening so yep that's it now we can also add some subtext here explore number of blogs in from various categories so we can make it text light to this as well let's make it text light to everything Let's see what happens yep so it's doing that and we can make it text LG is it there or not I have to check up the classes of bootstrap we can make the classes size here so I think 4M will be good yep that's it that's looking quite nice okay so now let's add one icon as well so for icon what we can do we can search for input groups and you can see we have this icon and to add this icon we can use input group wrapper that will be good yeah now we can copy this line and place it here yep now let's import that also if 
if I do that, you can see it is there and I can add some width here instead of that now you can see uh, this should be there like the icon should be of search instead of this so for that what we'll be doing is uh, we can uh, use icons which is react icons we can install the library which will allow us to use some icons in our code so we can uh, write ps search let's just first install this react icons and then we can use here also we can make it transparent so okay, let's just add a class here instead of calling a bootstrap class icon wrapper let's say and we can make it transparent and we can remove the border let's add some icon we uh, search outline we search let's just search for that in react icons website it's kind of taking time so let's let me just import it so we search if I'm not wrong so that will be like this so let me just save it and show you that if that is working okay yeah that's not here let's search for search yeah so we can choose any of the icon that looks good I think this was the thing that I was searching okay so it's a it's not a default import but a named import so we can use like this just refresh it yep it's there now the background color I can make it to white instead of transparent and we can make the color as it is yep you can see it is there just the box uh, the outline is coming so that we can remove that is called if I'm not wrong so that is outline or like what focus yeah focus and then we can remove the outline box shadow none outline none let me just check whether it works or not nope it's not working I think yeah yeah it's not working so it's not showing the shadows now so the search we created now in here what we'll be doing is we'll be creating some categories of blogs and we'll be showing some dummy blocks in cards 
so that will be doing in the later videos thank you for watching let's meet in the next video